All right, guys, you already know what it is. We're back at German Nationals. And this time it's round five, right? Because Germany is like six hours ahead. I've, I've been there before. It's like, so it's like nine in the morning where I am, but they've they've been playing like six rounds of Yu-Gi-Oh already out there in Germany. So, um, and this is like the most unexpected thing ever, but I heard Black Wings did a thing at the German Nationals. Oh my God, shit. And we're gonna check out, we're, we're gonna check it out. like. What they was cooking now i believe this blackwing player um he is a youtuber like first off the blackwing dragon sleeves goaded as hell um i believe he is a youtuber by the name of Kanak gaming something like that uh yes this guy um blackwing enthusiast first off he got the ddd king whatever right um he got the crow hogan this, this guy is like the Blackwing player, right? And he's definitely gotten a haircut, right? He, 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 he thought we wouldn't recognize him Ooh, with the fucking light Caesar, with the fucking fresh cut, the fade. But yeah, he, he, he is like Blackwing enthusiast. He's topped multiple regionals with Blackwings. As a matter of fact, there's this one hilarious short that he's made. <laughs> People just are not believing in modern Blackwings. They don't believe in the Black Wings. There are people out there who don't believe in them. So this is why Voodoo Han, which, you know, most people didn't even know that he was German, but he did announce he was going to German Nationals. Uh, round four, three wins, one loss. And here he is with Black Wings. And his opponent is on Sky Striker. Now, I'm not too familiar with a lot of these newer Black Wing effects, but um, I'll definitely try to still give you, the, give you guys the fucking play by play. Uh, so starts off with prosperity. Um, I don't know what he would prefer to banish. Did did he only banish three? I think he only banished three there. Which yeah, I, I guess makes sense, right? Because he, he like black wings, they they need a lot of fucking bridges to get their combos going. Uh, small world or do you take Vada? I don't think you take black whirlwind unless you don't have um, unless you don't have Samoom, the poison wind, but. If he takes a small world, he gets some move anyway, and he gets double search off of Black Rowan instead of just one search. All right, so he takes small world, and I'm sure he knows all the small world bridges. He has them all memorized. Um, so he has Chinook, I think that's the one in his hand. Like, that one's a hand trap, I believe. Oh, and he's going to banish Shamal. Interesting. So banish them all, banish Radian, and then add Samoom. They're all dark, different levels, um, different typings. And Samoom gets added to his hand. So now he reveals Samoom, banishes the Chinook from hand, and adds Black Rowan, normal summons, Black Rowan resolves. Um, yeah, the Sky Striker player just probably doesn't know how this shit works. I've seen this shit a million times. Um, so he gets a search. He's gonna search the new um, Shuri. Is that, is that what it's called? Su Sujuri, the the Phantom Glimmer. I literally have the card like right next to me. Uh, so Sujuri, the Phantom Glitter. He's gonna search Vada. Um, so Sujuri gets to search any card that mentions um, Blackwing Dragon, I believe. All right, so discard Shamal, and he gets to search the the new Black Whirlwind, the Black Feather Whirlwind, out of um, I, I I forgot the name of the fucking set already. Darkwing Blast, I think. Yeah, it was called Darkwing Blast. So the new Black Whirlwind out of Darkwing Blast, and that one is when you synchro summon, you get to summon one back from grave. But that one's a hard once per turn, I believe. So now we summon Vada. Yeah, so it's a soft once per turn, actually. So it's once per copy. But I don't think you would play more than one. I believe. Maybe. Alright, so... 
Wait, what is he doing? Is he adding? No, he's milling those two. Okay. All right, so. Is that what Vada does? He just mills the materials to make a raw Blackwing Dragon? And then Black Fredo Warren resolves and Shamal resolves as well. So he gets to revive too. Is that what's going on? No, it's revive one, add one back to hand. Okay. I know nothing about these black wings. That, that's why I'm trying to figure it out with you guys. And that's the new Boreas Storm, I believe its name is. Uh, I forgot what it does on Synchro. Hold on, I got it right here. Synchro Summon, you can summon a black wing monster from deck to grave, and if you do, this card's level becomes the same as that monster's. Then when it destroys a monster by battle, it has another effect. Alright, so he gets to mill one. So he's milled Steam the Cloak, interesting. And now he's going level 10. He's making... Oh no, he's not synchroing, he's making uh, Wise Strix. Okay, so Wise Strix gets to summon from deck. Sujuri, right? Because he's already he already has Zephyrus in his grave. And he's going to link off his Blackwing Dragon. Like, imagine having a Ghost Rare monster, Synchro monster, just to link it off. That's so disrespectful, but you know what? He, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Um. Okay, so he goes into Bardish, where he mills the Raider's Wing. He sets the uh, rank of magic from deck, and that card is just insane. If, if, if he actually resolves that card, his opponent basically loses a turn. It is basically um, fucking... Utopic Zexel with more steps. And that's what Black Wings are in 2023. It is skip your turn with, with more steps. And now, like before Darkwing Blast, like that's kind of what it was. Then post Darkwing Blast, it's like now they can actually make interruptions on the opponent's turn. Because for like the longest time, Black Wing kind of fell out of relevancy because it was hard for them to actually build up interruptions. Like, they build up a bunch of synchros that could do stuff during their turn, but nothing during the opponent's turn. And the Darkling Blast support kind of changed that. It's like it gave them a lot of quick effects that, could they, that they could use on the opponent's turn. Not a lot of negates and stuff, but things that, you know, still worked. So he just overlaid two synchros, his um, Tamerhawk Joe and Shidori, I believe. I, I believe that one name is Shidori. To make an Arsenal Falcon, Arsenal Falcon summon another Shamal. Um, now Raider's Wing gets to revive itself by detaching one material. Okay, there you go. Because I'm like, Arsenal Falcon needs no materials for the rank of magic to work. Now he's going into Bore Load. Dude, a single nib would have killed him here. Banish Raider's Wing? What does Raider's Wing do? Does it let him add back one? Is he going to add back the Zephyrus? No, no. Okay, so I guess Raider's Wing just gets banished. Uh, Zephyrus bounced back the Black Feather Whirlwind. Activate it again. Activate another one. Is he going to be able to make another Synchro? Banish Blackwing Dragon and Boreas Storm from Grave. This is kind of saucy. Like th this is why, like you don't don't sleep on black wings. Okay, so summon black wing, assault dragon, and both black feather whirlwinds resolve because they are both. Um... He gets a revive from banish as well. What the fuck? Oh my god! Can that shit really revive from banish? Wait. Yeah, you could target a black one that's banished in your graveyard with lower attack than the synchro. That's crazy. All right. I really thought he was going to make a Baron there, but I think he's locked into Dark Monsters because of Bardish. Something like that, I believe. Or, or Raider's Wing. At some point, he probably locked himself into Dark Monsters, which is why he's using bees instead of, uh, instead of Baron. But okay, yeah. Um, standby phase, resolve, fucking, <laughs> literally the only card that beats that 
quick play spell is like Blizzard, the quick play spell card. That is the only card that beats the quick play spell. And you have to deal and you have to play around a bore load. Right, Gecky. This is one of the most unfair fucking cards, in my opinion, in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Du Dual Don King Kali yu -Gi -Oh. This card should have been banned. To be completely honest, it should have been banned. Why did Bardish go to grave? I'm a little lost. Yeah, that's game. Basically, um, you, after it's summoned, it like negates the effects of everything that your opponent would activate for the rest of the turn, and it has a quick effect heavy storm. So they can't activate anything, and if they try to set some spells and traps to, you know, just continue the game, it can just wipe those during end phase. So it just renders the whole turn fucking useless. There's very little counterplay to that one particular card, meaning if Blackwing, basically, if Blackwings can make that going first, they win. There's there's no situation where they lose if they get to make that card. So you have to hand trap them. You have to nib. You have to fucking go spell. And this is Sky Striker that he was playing against. We, we didn't even get to see his opponent. Like, I just I just forgot, like, what deck he was playing against. But um, yeah, basically his whole hand, if it was full of spell cards, it would have been completely useless. Maybe, maybe like a linkage could have done something, but it wouldn't have mattered because he had Borload right there anyway. He had Borload and he had Blackwing Assault Dragon. It was just way too good, way too strong. So now going into game two, both players hitting up the side deck. So now we get to see, is Sky Striker going to go first? That one pass? No shot. You're breaking with Sky Striker? What? How did you break that hard with Sky Striker? There's no way. No engage. No multi roll. No field spell. Like nothing? I'm really curious what his hand is because he just lost to a lightning storm. Like game one, he didn't get to play at all, which I understand, right? Like that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh is sometimes these days, right? Like we have decks like this, like you, you, you look at Gate Guardian and it's just like, you know, the slowest, most, you know, fragile deck ever. And then you have like fucking absolute unapologetic combo um, FTK basically, because you don't get a turn. <laughs> um, all right, so Samum Sudri, literally the exact same opening, like minus the small road, it's, it's the exact same opening. Um, so we're gonna see him do, probably do the exact same combo, I'm assuming because, oh, we do see an Ash in his hand. Wait, was that an Ash? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was an Ash. But I guess Samoom can't be Ash because it places Black Rowan on the field from deck. So it can't be Ash Blossomed. Interesting. Because I know I definitely would have Ashed that if, if, if I had the chance, right? Knowing what the card can do. Now he has a chance to do something, but... Dude, that Ash is going to be so... Wait, he did have multi-roll in his hand. Is multi-roll not a starter for Sky Striker? Maybe I just don't know. Maybe I I just I haven't read the card correctly. Man, his face. <laughs> he knows what the fuck's going on. All right, let's see. Warrior Storm? I think it's going to be like the same opening here. Oh, well, actually, no, because he got ashed. I think the line's going to be different. The line's going to be different because he got ashed. So Warrior Storm here. Uh... Black Feather Whirlwind, Revive Shamal, or All right, Warrior Storm Effect, Mill Zephyros. Oh, is there a way? Is there a world where you where you can make Warrior Storm Chain Link two, and then Black Feather Whirlwind Chain Link one? 
Is that a thing? I guess not? Unless he already resolved Black Widow Woman's effect. Not too sure. It didn't look like he did because he didn't summon a synchro before this. But, alright. So, Blackwing Armor Master, whatever the hell the new ones go. Full Armor Master, excuse me, there you go. Blackwing Full Armor Master. Um, Revive Sujuri. With Shamal's effect and Black Feather Whirlwind bring back Vada. Okay, so one goes to hand, one goes to field. It feels like his deck is like entirely just all the modern black wings. Like I, we, we haven't seen a single Bora, Gale, a single, you know, uh, old black wing extender. It's, it, it's entirely comprised of the new ones. And it does suck a little that German Nationals is like now, like the week before um, we're getting that new level two Blackwing that was in OCG. And that one's pretty good as well. And that one's actually like a legit negate during your opponent's turn. Okay, so he's Zephyros and he got Vada back. So now he's going to get to summon out like fucking two monsters after he summons out this Synchro. So he goes into No Thung, I believe. It's been a while since I've seen it. Yeah, no Thunk to Starlight. And he gets an extra normal summon. He inflicts 800. And he... Actually, can he inflict 800 if your opponent doesn't have a monster? Maybe not. But he gets to revive two monsters from Grave. With less attack than 2400. Which... Warrior Storm conveniently only has... Oh, Warrior Storm does have 24. Okay. So he can't bring back the Warrior Storm. But what what can he bring back? So he brings back Shamal and Sudri. Wait. So he brings back Shamal and then he normal summons the Sudri that he added back earlier. So he doesn't get the double revive. Is he saving one for later? Is it only once per chain? Are they like... It says if, it doesn't say when. Maybe he's saving it for a, a potential Nibiru? Maybe that's what he... Oh, there, there we go, there's, <laughs> there's Gale. There, there's one of the old ones. Uh, and he added Chinook as well. Because that one mentions uh, Blackwing Dragon, I believe. Yeah, it does. Okay. So sink into Draco Berserker. Black for the Whirlwind. Okay, so he did save one of the Black for the Whirlwind so that he could revive Boreas Storm. Interesting, interesting. Um, that's OTK. Yep. And th that's two games where Sky Striker did not get to play a single card. <laughs> Uh, interesting. Well, he, the only card he got to resolve were Raigeki and Ash Blossom in two games. Black Wings do go crazy in the sauce. I was, I was going to go getting started with uh, Black Wings once a new one came out. I was going to do some research into the deck, like Black Wings and Crystal Beast and stuff. This was a lot quicker than the last one. Like shit, this is like 10 minutes less in the game. And yeah, I, I already, I already plugged this guy's channel. So if you guys want to see more Blackwing content, you go, you know exactly where to go to. He plays Master Duel, he plays TCG. Um, this this has to be the same dude, right? Because there's 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 no shot that like the. Oh look, wait wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The, guess the card. Guess the card. It's Chris the Crackhead. It's Chris the Crackhead. That's what I like to call him. They put a Blackwing on screen after this Blackwing player. Yeah, Chris to Crack of Dawn. No, it's Chris to Crackhead. Thank you. Because all them Blackwings are just niggas in bird suits. Oh, look, he, he even, he's he's literally even plugging his, his own fucking merch. 
like this, like the little like black wing dragon right there, a little black wing dragon merch. So yeah, I mean, if you want to get some black wing dragon merch, you know where to go. He has a hoodie and a shirt <laughs> for black wing dragon. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Um, but yeah, black wings in 2023, uh, your opponent does not get to play the game or if they do, it's like he didn't get to play the game first to, first game because of he literally stopped him from playing the game and then second game is because he literally bricked hold on i i, I need to read multi-roll again i need to read multi-roll um come on Yu-Gi-Oh! obviously uh let me see this shit yeah, once a turn, target one uh, during end phase. Hmm. So it, it indeed is not a starter. Because we did see multi roll in his hand. I don't. I, I, I do kind of want to know what else was in his hand, but I guess the world will never know. Um. But yeah. You know? Like, Black Wings are back, Gay Guardians taken dub. German National is pretty lit. Is, is there any other cool decks going on? No, it's just Sprite mirror matches. I mean, uh, curly, Pearly Sprite, I'll, I'll give you points for being creative or thinking a little outside the box, but like, come on, you know, Sprite is the best deck at, at the moment, you know, like it's going to be the most re represented deck for all the way up until Nationals um, or North American Nationals, I mean, because it's just too good this format. Like they, the only thing that was hit for them was Sprite Starter. And if you saw my, you know, gamma video, like where I said you could limit every card in a sprite engine it, and it would still be consistent, that still holds true. There is not a single card in a sprite engine that you cannot access through its its own gameplay loop. There's a single card that you cannot access. Like you go sprite, like two level twos, gigantic blue jet. You have access to the entire engine. It doesn't fucking matter if they're all limited. Like it's crazy. Anyway, um, that's been all for this video. Um, I, I have to go out and do some things today, so I'm not going to see too much more of this Nationals before day's end. But, uh, you know, want to see getting started with Black Wings or getting started with Gate Guardian in 2023? Hit that sub button. We have 497. You know, YouTube updated its uh, monetary policy, so... You know, uh, once I hit f f five, once I hit that 500, we're going to get super chats. We're going to get emojis. We're going to get a whole bunch of stuff um, or super thanks and emojis and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to update my banner. I'm going to update my my whole shit. My whole shit's going to be updated. All right. So stick around and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.